Hi again and what I'm Two Works For You, Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony, and let me be the first to wish you a happy 2016. Of course, New Year's Eve fast approaching and New Year's Day right on its tails. we got to look back to 2015, though. First, we're going to start with a look at December. Headed into the final days, it was still the warmest December on record, 47 and a half degrees and that is just a little bit warmer than 1931. We'll see if the colder temperatures at the end of the month can knock us down into second place or keep us as the warmest December on record. The average temperature with the highs and the lows during the day in the month of December, by the way, 41 degrees. All right, what a year for tornadoes in green country. These are totaled up as of December 12th. Of course, we did have some severe weather on December 26th, but haven't heard of any confirmed tornadoes out of all of those warnings. So, so far in eastern and northeastern and southeastern Oklahoma, 31 tornadoes, no tornado rated stronger than an EF2, and in southeast Kansas, five tornadoes. Another look back at 2015, some stats that meteorologist John Haverfield put together, and you saw those on Two Works For You at 5 and 6 o'clock on Wednesday. For the state of Oklahoma, 110 tornadoes, the yearly average in the mid to upper 50s. Snowfall from January 1st to the end of December, 6.6 .6 inches of snowfall in Tulsa. And also a look back at 2010, continuing our look, the hottest temperature. We hit that on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, August 7th, 8th, and 9th, 102 degrees those three days. The coldest morning, and really the coldest day, January 7th. It was 7 in the morning, the daytime high that afternoon, just 29 degrees. Rainfall, wow, this has been incredible. The third wettest year on record. 61.79 inches of rainfall, almost 21 inches above average. And in McAllister, it was even rainier. Nearly 79 inches of rain fell in McAllister. Of course, the rainiest months were May, November, and December. And this could continue for the rest of the winter. El Nino, very strong. In fact, the ocean water temperature is continuing to run about 3.5 degrees above average, though it may have peaked just a little bit but it'll take a long time for us not to feel the impact of El Nino as that storm track continues across the southern portion of the United States and parts of Oklahoma. So it should continue to be kind of a rainy, stormy winter as we get into January and February. We'll have to watch out still for the potential for at least one ice storm. Then we'll see how spring shakes out. That's it for this edition of WeatherWise. Have a safe and happy 2016.